So the doctor told me I'm probably supposed to stay inside out of the sun. I'll explain that maybe later. I got some cows that are due to calve and I need to go check them and I think I see one. So take you along for the ride. So I got a couple of cows that are like right now do and I'm gonna go down and look for them and see if I can see if we have any new calves on the ground. Should be one or two of them that are are pretty ready. And I see one right now. She's up and walking around. Calf looks dry, looks good. Let's see how close I can get. She's running off of the calf already. Yeah, that calf is brand new. It's just dry already. She had that last night probably. She's up and running, doing good. Little bull calf, I can tell that already. Easy mama. She's not going to let me get close at all. She's usually right on top of me too. Well, I didn't want the goats over here. But that ain't gonna matter. Hey. Come on, mama. Woo! Come on. Well, look who there. Look who's there. Here, you want some of these? Yeah, you're not really supposed to feed them cattle cubes. This one here is a pest. Okay, she came over. That's her right there. And there's her calf right there. Her little bull calf. Here you go, Mom. There you go. She's here. This thing right here is a pest. You know, you guys cannot stay out of the Polaris. Get out. Hey, come on now. Come on, get out. Get out. I need electric fence for the Polaris. Go on. Yeah. All right. These old these mamas are getting ready to leave here. Here pretty soon. They're going to go over to Elise. But now I have to wait a little bit longer for that one. I'm not gonna throw them over there yet. Get down. Ouch. I mean, you just stepped on my foot. Yeah. This one here is a little too friendly sometimes. It gets a little close and then it gets frisky. Ah, uh, ah, uh, clear. Get out of there. Get out. Hey, get up. Get up. All right. This one here is too friendly as well. You want to ride? You going to ride what? So unfortunately, she lost her calf. We had to pull her calf. It was twisted up inside of her. And she ended up losing her calf. That was not good. She just lost her calf about a, about a couple of days, just a few days ago. But she's doing pretty good. She didn't prolapse. Uh, she's healing up good. She's got all her. We got a. We had a vet check her out real good, and she's doing all right. Hey, if you're looking for a career field, get into the large animal vet dairying school because there's not many of them around anymore. At the beginning of this video, I told you I'd tell you why I can't be out in the sun. Well, all right. Look, I have a little skin problem here. Uh, I have had some skin cancer. Uh, it's not that it's not serious. Okay, I have the basal style. They have to go in with a uh, with blue lights and and, a, and and some kind of ointment. And they they put that on my arms and then they then they go in. They cover it up with some real saran wrap and then they hit me with a blue light. Now that does hurt and sting while it's being done. Uh, it burns for several days later, uh, but it, that's what happened. And so I'm not supposed to be out in the sun, especially out in the direct sunlight. And so the videos have been coming in a little bit slow. I also had some squeamous style 
cancer that they had to cut out. We got that out. We're taking care of ourselves. We're getting it taken care of, trying to make sure nothing turns into anything bad. I don't have melanoma and that's the bad stuff. You do not want that. Um, and, but I get checked out every year because of, of, of the light skin, my light complexion. And, uh, I work in the sun a lot and I weld and other things. So this video, it's an awareness video. Take care of your skin, take care of your, you take care of your health. Uh, I've got a lot of things I need to do myself to take care of my health. Look, I appreciate you guys though. I really do. But until next time, thanks. I'm supposed to have the sun for two weeks. Two weeks. I don't know if I can do it.